This local sports report is brought to you by M&T Printing, offering banners, brochures, business cards, and more. Check out their website for a wide range of printed products at mtprint.com. Awesome to catch up with Hunter Nagy, who is one of the newest members of the Stratford Warriors. They are on the ice here at the Rotary Complex for their first official training camp skate. You're going on in the second group, Hunter. Uh, what's the experience been like so far? I know it's only been, you know, a couple of skates. This is the first official one, but what do you like most so far about being a Warrior? Uh, it's been great. Uh, we've had a few skates prior to this one and also a team bonding event. And you can really tell that the guys are all super close to each other and it's uh, already like a family act atmosphere here. What does it mean to you to move into the Junior B ranks in the GOJHL this year? Obviously you had a wonderful career playing for the Water of the Wolves. We'll get to them in a second here. What, but what does it mean to you and your family? Obviously this was a goal for quite a while. Now you're here, you're wearing this very nice Stratford uh, hoodie. You think what? Uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, obviously this is what you try to do. Uh, move up the ranks your entire uh, minor hockey career and it's exciting that um, I got to play, or am I going to play for uh, such a good organization? How much work went into it? You tell me. You're the only person that really knows the effort and the time that goes in behind the scenes to make sure that you're ready for an opportunity at this level. Yeah, it's all behind the scenes in the off season and during the season. Coaches are a big part about that, though. So um, I'd like to say thanks to all my coaches that have helped me along the way and uh, everyone in the gym too. Let's name drop a couple of those coaches because I know Sean Dietrich, the U16 coach in Waterloo, obviously had a huge influence on you. You had a wonderful season that year. You know, obviously not the best experience last year because of COVID and nothing to do with the Wolves, obviously. Uh, but how did Travis Cricker, the U18 coach, and Sean Dietrich specifically make a difference for you in your development to get you here? Yeah, Dietz and Travis really helped me a ton with my development. I wasn't the biggest kid going into either of those years, and I'm still not the biggest kid, but uh, they really helped me uh, improve my uh, puck, puck retention and uh, just my uh, development of my skills all around. Here's the thing that I learned about you watching you in minor hockey, and I called it you at this a couple of times. Hustle and hard, Hunter Nagy. You go into those corners, like you said, you might not be the biggest guy right now, but you'll go in and you'll battle, and nine times out of ten, you're going to win that battle. Um, tell me about your skills on the ice, what you'd like Stratford fans to know about you. Obviously, that's what I've seen from you, and I give you a lot of credit for all the things that you did in minor hockey. Yeah, I'm not the most skilled player, but I'm not afraid to go in the corners, even though I'm not uh, the biggest kid on the ice, and um, I'm always going to try my best to be the hardest uh, worker in uh, biggest compute, uh, competitor out there. Jesse English, a defenseman obviously who you know really well, Ty Higgins as well, those are three of the new players with the Warriors this year. How much does that help you as you're moving into a new organization and you're kind of learning the ropes and getting to know the coaches and all those kind of things? That little bit of familiarity probably makes a difference for you. What's it like to move into this position with those two guys specifically? Yeah, it's great to uh, have those two guys on my team that I kind of grew up playing hockey with and we can uh, kind of share experiences with on the all the way up but uh, they're great guys to have on the team too they're big big guys like to play physical hockey so I'm sure they'll stick up for me every once in a while too and they're on the side here watching this interview kind of making a chuckle a little bit and that's what it's all about having fun back to hockey great to see a hunter best wishes this season can't wait to be at the almond covering the warriors thank you darren for more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.